everybody stop what you're doing because here today Samsung released a new version of the Good Guardians and of course Good Guardians is only like the top of the iceberg like the cherry because the Good Guardians is just the management module for these very nice mods like the Thermal Guardian, the Media File Guardian, the Memory Guardian, the Battery Guardian, the Galaxy Up Booster and the Battery Tracker. And if you do own a Samsung device and don't know what the Good Guardian is, my advice to you is guys Stop whatever you're doing, just open the link down below inside the video description, download the Good Guardians and start using it. One might ask why, why, alright, I'm gonna start this video with just giving a short description, then updating the Good Guardians and also the models and show you guys some of the best modules and functionalities, features that you can use. Yeah, that's true. There are really some practical things you can use there. It can, it will do a positive impact. Let's dive deep inside what Good Garden means. And if you are already familiar, you might want to skip directly to the part where I'm going to review the latest modules and the updates. So Good Guardians provides a privileged utilities for your Galaxy. These utilities are ready for you. We have the file Guardian that keeps your deleted files for the selected time. So you can be free from mistakes. Whatever this means, it means that, yeah, if you by an accident delete one of your files, yeah, you should be able to restore it. Then we have the battery tracker. Let's you know the usage of applications within a day or a week in your selected time. From now on, tracking the most battery consuming element is easier than ever. And battery tracker, guys, is important. Remember my word. Then we have the battery guardian, detects bad apps behavior and does not allow them running on your device. We are going to add more and more protection for your battery health. And battery health is absolutely important, guys. Specifically, if you do own something like this, the S22 Ultra, which will cost you a lot of bucks. Then we have the Galaxy App Booster, probably one of the most essential apps, guys. Transfers executable files of each app to boost them up. Yeah, in plain language, every time I do update my firmware, I run it, and believe me, it does make an impact. Then we have the Thermal Guardian. It's really for the freaks out there. It offers a way to track and manage device temperature. Why is that important, guys? Because you know the very plain truth and wisdom of words, more temperature, more heat, bad performance. But Thermal Guardian provides solution to detect the source of heating like an excessive battery or CPU usage and more than that because you can adjust the thermal threshold level to adjust performance and adapt to your personal uses, which means that you can use the Thermal Guardian, guys, to allow your phone to take more heat. And mark my words, yeah, you can increase the heat tolerance, more heat, probably will mean also more performance in exchange of battery life. And this is what Thermal Guardian can do. And you can do this stuff, you know, just using Samsung One UI. And it's really incredible, guys. No routing, no modes whatsoever. Then we have the Memory Guardian, which offers a way to track device performance based on the memory usage and provide a function to clean this up. Also, optimized memory will help increase device performance. And just yesterday, guys, I did test it. There is a way to even stop One UI from this aggressive killing from your applications running on the background. And then we have the Media File Guardian that offers a way to delete hidden files and etc. This is not something very important. So now guys, without any further ado, I'm gonna hit the update button. I'm going to update the Good Guardians, but do also update the individual modules, the Media, Terminal Guardian, the Memory Guardian, the Battery Guardian, the Apps Booster and the Battery Tracker. And then I'm gonna share like my favorite mods and everything you can do with them. And yeah, if you like things like this, that's the the best time for you guys to subscribe to this channel like the video share it with your friends and keep watching all right all right here we are and the good guardians now has been updated to the latest version so i'm gonna start it for the first time we are now greeted by this message we need to still perform a manual update to install the agents et voila good guardians and i need to say this one more time if you're not familiar with good guardians make sure to watch the full video and then go download it install it immediately if you own a samsung phone you should have the good guardians on your phone and that's it guys i mean this is really it so i'm gonna show you guys now my favorite modules and show you also the best settings and the updates so of course for me like number one is the galaxy app booster why is the galaxy app booster so important because it takes all the executable files 
on your phone and it optimizes them. And the best part of this is that you can only optimize application used in the past 30 days. So what are we gaining by doing this? Every time I do update my firmware, every time I do run Galaxy App Booster. It's as simple as that. Improved performance up to 5%, some applications may be restarted and your device may heat up and etc. And the approximate time of running is five minutes now. I can tell you, based on my experience, this can run sometimes for more than an hour, right? I'm just now gonna show you how the process looks like, right? This is what you're gonna see on the screen. Leave the phone like this, right? And let the Galaxy app booster boost your applications. When you click here, you're gonna be finding the details of the version information. The second place goes to the Thermal Guardian. Now, if you're okay with the way your phone works, you should not be touching this. But if you are a freak, a nerd like I am, the Thermal Guardian is the right tool for you. It will give you a very nice reporting of the temperature that your phone is running and also the threshold. And you can also go to CPU usage and you can click individual points, data points, and just see the red line is the temperature, the blue line here is the CPU usage. Let's take this example right now. I have a high CPU usage and I can just check which of the applications are causing it, okay? And I can just see what my temperature was. I can also click here and just see, for example, that TikTok was really causing some of the spikes. But there are more things, guys. Going back to threshold will give you the so-called thermal threshold. Let me show what will happen when I increase it with one point. The thermal threshold will be increased one degrees from the default. This means that the phone will run hotter, right? So you can tell the phone, okay, tolerate heat, more performance will cause more heat. Of course, you're gonna sacrifice battery, but then the idea is to get more peak performance and hopefully also sustained performance. And you can even go and do this by two degrees. And also on the opposite, guys, you can also choose a setting like this. You can decrease the thermal threshold. So if you don't like the battery running out so fast, if you don't like the phone to be hot in your hands, you can always do so. Usually the way I keep my phone, I use a 1C. And the best part also of the update, there are additional settings. And let me show you, this is really where Good Guardians shines. When you click on the additional settings, you're able to restrict some of the parameters, like limit the CPU boosting when heating, decrease the maximum brightness when heating, apply standard motion smoothness when the phone is heating, and of course, turn off 5G if the data usage is low and when the screen is on. If you wanna get more information, you can click on the three dots, guys, and that's gonna be something called tips. And here, guys, you are able to find what it's all about. Limit. CPU boosting when heating. CPU boosting is a function that uses a lot of resources. If you use the CPU boosting during heating, thermal can be going up fast. You can lower the CPU boosting level in the heat situation through additional settings and quickly cool the terminal, which is actually the foam. Decrease maximum brightness when heating. If the display brightness remains high, thermal can be going up fast, which means you are just losing your battery. You can limit the maximum brightness more actively through additional settings and quickly cool the foam. And then of course, turning off 5G if the data usage is low, when the screen is on, so if the data usage is low, data can be transmitted normally without using 5G. 5G takes a lot of battery. You can prevent heating by limiting the use of 5G when the data usage is low. And how do you set these things on? Click like this. Hit the apply button and those things are gonna be set. Now, pay attention, I'm not using them because I just want to get the best out of my phone. I don't really care about the battery so much until I start. But Thermal Guardian, second place. And then guys, Memory Guardian. Yesterday I found something out that really changed the way my phone is performing in terms of keeping more open applications in the background and not killing them. So the Memory Guardian will help you free the memory by just showing you a very nice statistics of all the open applications and allowing you to kill them. Now I can now see I have Telegram running, it takes almost one G of my RAM. The Galaxy Store, the Google, everything is here, all right? And of course I can clean now, but before doing this, I wanna show you what all of these colors mean. If you go here to history, you'll check that the gray color is actually the available memory. So this is the free memory that I have from 100%. Notice I'm running a 12G phone version. The blue one is the cached, okay? So all this here in blue is all the memory that is cached, which means that some of the applications are running in the cache. Then of course running, like actively running is the orange line. And of course the system line, which is this 
two G that are missing. I made a video about this. A lot of users there were working on a hook saying, hey, you know, I paid for a phone that has 12 G, but I only have 10 G. No, you have some memory that is reserved for the file system and for important system resources. Device performance is in good condition when the sum of the memory size in the running, which means here the orange one, and the system category, which actually means the one in the red, is less than 80% of the total memory size. If it keeps over 80%, reboot your device or first stop a new application. And now the best part, guys. There is also another tab called Customize. Inside, you're going to be able to find these two modes. The default mode and the quick switching mode. And this is directly related and impacting the background apps refresh. Which means you open 10 applications. When you start cycling through them, sometimes they're going to be refreshed from new. Now, this is when you use the default mode. But when you use the quick switching mode, they will tend to stay more in the RAM. So you can use the latest state of the applications. And I've seen on the S20 on Ultra, there's also another option. I'm not sure we don't have it on the S22. Going back to the monitor, guys, clicking clean now will see will give me some of this memory back. Now, after, of course, the kill is done, right, and we just go one more time in the monitor, all of this is going to get refreshed. Of course, there are some system apps that will always run, but you can now just see how much free memory I have. And if I go to the history, you can just see that this is now bigger. There are more things, like I said, we have the battery tracker, the battery guardian. I will show you guys the battery guardian. Inside the battery guardian, you can find some nice options to save some of your battery. Up power saving, optimize battery draining apps to extend your battery life. I'm using that one. When the battery draining app has been found, an app will be put to sleep automatically to extend of your battery life. Now, please note that by using these options, yeah, you might get some of your applications in the deep sleep or sleep status. Some users don't like this, I'm okay with that. You also have the screen power saving. Once that's enabled, when the screen is not used, guys, it's gonna get dimmer. So let me just show you. When the screen is not used, enter dim mode and quickly and keep dim until screen timeout. Why not? I'm gonna enable this. And the best thing is you can exclude always apps, not from the battery guarding only, from all the other mods. This here is also nice, power saving during bedtime, right? So you can set here your sleep time, right? And the moment your phone enters sleep time here by the schedule, it's gonna get into power saving mode. Now I'm using some of the Bixby routines to do this. You can check my video here and extending battery life by optimizing settings that use a lot of battery power the phone here gives you some suggestions that you can play around with screen resolution with the smoothness of the screen with the brightness of the timeout to just get better results i am not clicking optimize right now because i'm using the settings on the purpose but you just pretty much get the power of the good guardians and before i close the video i want to show you like the seven people that make the good guardians possible because i think they're just coding it the lm 10 the entity ha dvd the pd song teddy kyan wang kim and wang sig lee i really hope that i've read this correctly those are the guys we need to thank for the good guardian now be a good samsung citizen call download it don't forget to subscribe for the channel hit the like button if you want yeah thank you very much please you and your families stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos and with that said vst over and bye